Oh, yeah. Tonight is Wednesday, and Wednesday night is the night that we make sweet, 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 sweet hidden gems, and this is a weekly show where I profile some of the best young talents in FIFA 15 as well as showcase some of the uh, lesser known players that have been turned into beasts with their latest career mode updates. My name is B- and if you like the sound of that jibba jib go ahead and smash it that like button. We got an amazing show action packed with some amazing gems this week and without further ado let's get it in. First up this week is this man right here Wallace Fontuna Dos Santos of AS Monaco, he is on loan from uh, CS, no, SC Braga, and as you can see, getting massive upgrades this week, plus 3, plus 5 to his potential, welcome to the 80 club, my son, 6-3, and uh, let's go ahead and look at his stats, as you can see, not the paciest mofo, but he grows by a lot right here, 60 pace and 60 acceleration, very respectable and very good reactions right here. Very good strength, getting a plus 6 to strength, very decent in the stamina as well as jumping. Very good in all of the defending stats, mid to low 70s as well as good heading accuracy. Remember, he is 6'3 and is going to be growing by 8 points, so one to look out for guys, Wallace to Santos, but you can call him Wallace. Next up is the Chelsea man on loan at Reading. A lot of you guys probably know him already. His name is Nathaniel Chaloba. And he is finally, he's been fluctuating. He's been hovering at the 78-79 mark for most of career mode this year. But now he is finally getting the bump up to the 80 club. Welcome back, my son. And he played the CM CDM position 6-1. Three-star weak foot. Very nice, very nice. And as you can see, in his stats, very, very well-rounded in almost everything, pretty much. Very good in the movement speed, very good in the mentality. Uh, okay in the skill, I mean he's got decent dribbling and ball control. And uh, pretty good short passing at 71 as well as uh, mediocre long passing at 64. Very good power stance and this is where he stands out guys. Uh, pretty much low 70s in all the power stance right here and has the playmaker straight and pretty good stand tackle. And we can play the CM and CDM role. So there you guys go with a growth of 13. Go ahead and get him in your club, Nathaniel Chalupa. Next up, we got the Frenchman, Safane Buffal, and he's getting a plus three, plus three massive upgrades right here. Uh, welcome to the 80 Club, young man, young man, can play the cam. Right mid and left mid position is only 5-7, but he makes up for it with a four-star weak foot and four-star skill moves plays for Lil. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. Young ladies and gentlemen, we have a beast in our midst right here. Look at those movement speeds right there. High 80s in all the movement speeds except for reactions, which is a decent 69. Very good in the skill moves right here. Uh, very good in skills. Remember, he does have 4-star skill moves, so that 76 in ball control and 77 dribbling is going to go very nice, very nicely. Could be a little bit better in the long passing, but we'll forgive him for that. He, uh, right here, let's go ahead, uh, crossing. Getting a plus 9 to finishing, pushing it all the way up to almost 70. Very nice. Getting a plus 4 to short passing and plus 7 to volleys. Very good. Uh, getting a plus 9 to shot power, Ugh. and you know you know how much I love that plus 5 to stamina, boosting it up to 73, very nice, very nice. And uh, positioning, vision, penalties all getting plus 5s, and a little bit of a buff, actually massive buffs to defending, but still not all that great. So what a good young gem that you guys can find playing for Lily, could be the next Eden Hazard maybe, go ahead and get him, Sufani Buffal. Next guy, as you can see, Bernard Mensa. I'm just going to profile really quick, he starts out at 73 and gets to an 81. No real upgrades, but as you can see right down here, he's got very respectable stats. And I just wanted to profile him for you. He's got long shot taker and selfish traits, but very good in the movement. 83, 85, sprint speed, acceleration, respectively. And he's got decent skills. As you can see, 80 dribbling and 75 ball control. Decent heading accuracy, pretty good short passing. Got nice long shots and shot power and decent stamina and pretty good in the mentality sense. So if you want a good left mid or cam for the cheapsy cheeps, go ahead and take a look at. Bernard Mensa. Maybe the best name for a center back I've ever seen. The man from Celtic, the Belgian Jason Denier. It's probably mis I'm probably mispronouncing that, but come on, you have to call him Jason Denier if he is a center back. Anytime you like win the ball back, you just say Denier. <laughs> Starts out at 69 and uh, can get all the way up to an 80. Welcome to the 80 club, my my son, my son. And there you go, three star weak foot, two star skill moves, but you don't care about that. He's a center back, and as you see right here, bad good in the movement speed, 75 and 76 respectively in excel and pace. Uh, very decent in the defending, uh, high 60s to low 70s in the defending sense. Decent in interceptions, very good in strength, 81, 
Stamina could be a little bit better. 69 is doable, not too bad. Um, 73 jumping, 68 hang accuracy, and 66 short passing. Always nice to have a very good passing uh, center back right there. So go ahead and look up your boy, Jason Denier. John Sutar, the Scotland center back, 17 years old, 6'1", plays for Dundee. United and he starts out at a 61 and gets all the way up to a 78 maybe you'll make that 80 club someday my son let's go ahead and take a look at his sets and look at him he pretty much kind of is like a uh, denier light as you can see pretty pretty decent in the movement speeds low seven low 60s in the defending sense wish he could be a little bit better but remember he is starting out at a 61 so he has massive massive growth of 17 so uh yeah all of these are going to be rising even faster hopefully the sprint speed he could be one pacey mofo let's see how old he is only 17 so he could be one pesa pesa mofo when he's all grown up and then you can see pretty good in the dribbling Nice little bust right here in the skill moves as well as, oh, he already has 66 short passing, which was the same as Denier. So there you guys go. A uh, good young center back that you guys can get for Cheapsy Cheeps, John Sattar. And look at this, Joshua Kimmich reminding me of Unbreakable Kimmich Schmidt. And these Germans are always, always, always so sturdy. Look at him. Starts out at a 67, getting all the way up to 81. He's already in the 80 club, my son, my son, when he plays for RB Leipzig. Probably mispronouncing that, but let's go ahead and take a look at sets. Unfortunately, getting a downgrade in strength speed had a respectable 69. <laughs> but now, uh, now only at a 65. And uh, he's getting a negative 2 in acceleration, but he's going to make up for it in some of the mentality sets right here. Better interceptions, positioning, as well as vision, and plus 3, 2 marking. He's getting a plus 5 for reactions. Not bad. Decent short passing, uh, decent stamina, and decent jumping. So guys, for a center mid German, you know he's going to be probably pretty good. Joshua Unbreakable Kimmich. This guy has a name that I'm not even going to attempt, so I'm just going to call Unpronounceable Croatia Guy. Croatia Guy is a right back in right mid at 22 years old, 6 foot tall, very good for a right back, and he's getting a plus 2 to his potential. Welcome to the 80 Club, my unpronounceable son, and he plays for South Sudo. And let's go ahead and take a look down in this section right here. Very well balanced stats. As you can see, yellows and greens almost everywhere. Movement stats, everything in the mid to high 70s, as well as the defending stats, almost all at 70 right there. Very good stamina at uh, 86 and great jumping at 87. Strength could be a little bit better, but we can't knock him on that too much. Has good head accuracy and short passing, so just a very well rounded player. Unpronounceable Croatia guy. We got another German in our midst and one away from the 80 club. You'll get there soon, my son. The man plays for Bayern Munich and his name is Gianluca Gardino. That is the most German name I have ever <laughs> seen on a German player. Three star weak foot, three star skill moves. He's only 5'9", but let's take a look at his stats right here. Now as you can see, very well balanced uh, like some of the other players. Not as pacey as some of the players that I used to like to profile, but decent stamina, 68 for a youngster as well as uh, 73 in the short passing. Remember, he is at the ripe old age of 17, completely cam and central mid position, so if you need a good young developmental cam, go ahead and look up the most German name of all time, Gianluca Gardino. And we're going to stay in the Bundesliga with this man right here. Shout out to all my Australian subs. What up? What up, guys? And uh, yeah, I'm going to throw you guys a bone right here with this man, the 6'4", Mitchell Langerak. That's how I repay you by totally butchering this man's name. <laughs> and he is going to get a plus one to his overall with a 77 potential. And as you can see right here, pretty nice upgrade to his goalkeeping stats. He's got... Uh, plus two to, to handling, plus one to positioning, as well as reflexes. Getting negative two to goal kicking, but honestly, goal kicking not all that not all that important, if, in my opinion. And he has the puncher trait. I've actually never seen goalies with traits before, but there you guys go, six four, and got a nice lanky reach. You can punch the ball out. You need a good young keeper. Go ahead and get yourself Mitchell Langerak. Last time on the list is a little bit of a buff, but I just want to profile this guy. Plays for the San Jose Earthquakes. This is technically my hometown team. Uh, is a Switzerland man who is five seven. Uh, starts out at a seventy three and can grow to a seventy seven. Used to grow to an eighty. A little bit of a shame. Three star with foot. And this is why I want to profile him. Look at the piss. Look at the piss. 
Oh, he is one pisser, pisser muffle. And look at that 95 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, 91 agility, good work, uh, 90 balance, and 73 reactions, pretty good. And he's got 92 jumping, unfortunately he's only 5'7", but uh, at least he can get pretty high, and he's got very good finishing at 75, he has the speed to straight, and acrobat as well as decent positioning, and good dribbling and ball control. He only has 3 star skill moves, but man oh man oh man, if you need a cheap, good, young striker, youngish, he's 25, uh, get the not so innocent and Magara. And that'll be it guys for this week in the sweet, 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 sweet hidden gems. And remember, this is a weekly show, so if you want to catch all the former weeks, I'm going to go ahead and leave a playlist right here. Ding! And if you want to see some of the bigger names in FIFA 15, I also do a career mode update show where I kind of showcase all the big names, the movers and shakers, the players that got buffed, and the players that got nerfed. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and leave a playlist for that as well in the comments down below. Anyway, this has been your boy B Minus. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I love all of your faces. And until next time, remember stay humble.